huge. I'm letting some of you off the hook. Before we get to this, do you have any other comments about class, what the class does, and so on, and things that we could do? I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to be done two minutes early. We'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that this is a very significant lesson. Uh, I think that uh, it, there's, there's just a lot in there, but it pretty well represents this class and some of the great things that this class does. I really do believe that. And uh, there's a lot of things I'm trying not to pick on just one particular area that's kind of holding me back a little bit because, of, but I do believe that this class does uh, does succeed in this particular thing. You haven't mentioned the person who first came here and wound up playing the piano every morning for months and months and months. Well, I, uh, this problem, you have to kind of watch that situation because She'll actually go to any church that pays her, you know. <laughs> I know, right up until. Well, your bread is butter. You can have a glass on the piano or we can put some in Thank you so much for doing that. If you, if you think about, and I, I would go, let me look view just for a moment. I was talking to Larry the other day and I'm going to share with you this. When I was young, I attended, I was president of the Methodist Youth Fellowship in Cunningham, Kansas. And I went to the camps that we have, okay? One of the camps that does not exist anymore is Sheldon Woods Camp. And there was a minister at that, at that camp by the name of Mr. Evans. Interesting to note, I talked to Larry last week, and Larry said that he knew Mr. Evans. Mr. Evans taught me, we had a section at that time on sex education. Then I became a teacher. First place when I was back, going back to Cunningham for the moment, the person who was my sponsor, Shirley is buried over here, over here is buried Dan and Ruby Kusenberry. They made me go to the city office building, and they made me check to see whether blacks could stay in Cunningham overnight or not. They couldn't. That was illegal. If a black came to Cunningham, there was one person that would probably help him. That was my dad. So now I become a teacher. I go to Sheldon Woods Camp. He teaches me sex education. I get my master's degree. President Barnes calls me up. He says, I want you to teach psychology. And so I said, but if you teach psychology, You've got to include a section dealing with sex education. Or that's what that's my agreement. It's under the table, but it's got to be there. I want a section on sex education if you're going to teach psychology. And I want you to be a social professor of psychology. So I agreed to teach psychology. It was a great opportunity for me. But at that particular time, and you're going to laugh at me, because I was teaching sex education at that time, <coughs> no doubt about it, I was a communist. <coughs> there was no doubt this guy was a communist for teaching sex education. And, that, and it's rather interesting that it was a Methodist church, it was Reverend Evans, and I, I, do you know, did you remember him at all, Bob? Oh, oh yes, I know Armour Evans. Right 
Yeah, me too. Do you? And me too. Do you, Emma? <laughs> what did, what's your... Well, he was the administrator at Wesley when I went to school there. Is that right? And his daughter-in-law was a classmate of I didn't know all that till yet just last week. We used to share uh, Monday, Thursday communion service together. I've been with him in other aspects. <coughs> and his son worked in the lab at Wesley, and the one that was married to my classmate since divorced. Well, yeah, Armour Evans was an institution. I got to know more about this later. Charles, what? What years are you talking about? I was in the 60s. Yeah. Before Near time. <laughs> okay, let's go to this right now. Dear Lord, hear our prayer and the words attributed to John Wesley. Our, 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 wait a minute. I, I am, okay, I am no longer my own, but thine. Put me to what thou wilt. Frank me with whom thou wilt. Put me to doing, put me to suffering. Let me be employed for thee, or laid aside for thee, exalted for thee, or brought low for thee. Let me be full, let me be empty. Let me have all things, let me have nothing. I freely and heartily yield all things to thy pleasure and disposal. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. Huh? Yeah, no, you went too fast. I mean, too fast late. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. Something I didn't bring up before, uh, Carol is going to be going on a vacation, and so it will be after she gets home that we will have a social. Okay? <laughs> She'll be on March 6th, so don't worry yeah. about that. Keep her fine, don't worry. You're fine. All right. Hit the button. Hit the button. The red button.